Hey y'all, it's me, Jenny B, and today I'm going to be reviewing steeped coffee. It worked! <gasps> I broke it! The people over at Steep Coffee were kind enough to send us a package of their coffee bags. And yes, I did say coffee bags. We have four flavors to try. We have the Sunrise Blend, the Odyssey, California, and the Driftwood. But first, let's talk a little bit about what makes Steeped Coffee so special. First, the most obvious, they're in bags. It makes your coffee experience much easier. You don't need the coffee machine or anything. You just need the coffee and some water, and there you go, you're ready to go. But what really sets them apart is they're all about making their coffee products eco-friendly. So in all their packaging, they use eco-friendly water-based ink, renewable and compostable materials, and they are registered carbon-free. All their products are made in the USA, certified kosher, and they only use ethically sourced direct trade coffee. It's 100% specialty coffee, which means there are no additives, solubles, crystals, or freeze drying involved in the process. The packages are also ultrasonically sealed, which means there's no glues or staples used. If you want to know more about their awesome mission, we will put a link in the description box where you can check it out. It's just really cool and so thoughtful. Everything from the bag your coffee comes in to their shipping boxes. They have thought out everything. Now, I want to tell you this video is not sponsored. Steep Coffee sent us these to give our honest opinion because they know, just like you guys probably already know, I am a coffee fiend. So I'm going to be trying these two ways. First completely black to get their normal flavor and with my favorite creamer, how I would normally enjoy them on a morning when I'm drinking my coffee. So let's dive right in to our first flavor, which is the Sunrise Blend. Let's go inside, shall we? I'm back and ready to do this right. We have our coffee bag. It's getting all over my fingers. Stick that in the cup and submerge it in eight ounces of water. All right, and then we're going to dunk the bag for 15 seconds. <laughs> now we're gonna leave the bag in there for five minutes. So hey Siri, set a timer for five minutes. We're off to the races. I'm gonna sniff it. Hmm. I smell subtle hints of coffee and some very bold notes of coffee. Food Network, just go ahead and <laughs> call me up for my show. It doesn't smell very strong. It smells like a... It has almost a fruity aftertaste. Not very strong, very light actually, which maybe what you want in the morning. I like a nice strong cup of coffee. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna drink it black, I want it black, like strong. But now we're gonna put some pumpkin spice latte in it. I think this might be a little too weak for me. If now I could have steeped it longer, which would have made it a stronger tasting coffee. Cause once you add the creamer, it's a little bit Almost like you had an iced coffee and let some of your ice melt. So it's a little watery and thin, but tastes very pleasant with the creamer in it. I would rate that a six out of 10. Wouldn't be necessarily my first choice for a cup of coffee, but now let's try the California blend. Thank you. This one's really similar to the first one in that kind of fruity, almost earthy taste, but it definitely feels bolder, which I like. So now let's put some creamer in it. Mm. 
This one holds up to the creamer a little better, not quite as thin or watery, but still maybe a little bit too much for me. Then again, full disclosure, I'm usually a latte girl, so some shots of espresso with milk, not necessarily normal coffee. So I gave the Sunrise Blend a six out of 10. I'm gonna give the California Blend a seven out of 10. And I will be back tomorrow to try our next two flavors, the Odyssey and the Driftwood. So, future Jenny, we'll see you then. Hello everybody, I'm back again. It is the next day and we have two more cups of coffee to try. However, I wanted to mention, they also have a decaf. You really playing with Catboy right now? They also have a decaf coffee, which is the Event Tide decaf. Hey, it's uh, editing Jenny here in a Disney pajama shirt. Just to let you know, it is Event Tide, not Event Tide. So, uh, thanks. But I'm not trying that. Hey, Johnny B. Because I don't drink coffee that's decaf, because it's caffeine I'm addicted to. But they do have that decaf option. Same situation. Okay. Our two coffees for today are the Odyssey blend, which is a dark roast, and a Driftwood blend, which is a French roast. We're gonna do Odyssey blend, actually, we're gonna do them at the same time. <laughs> Ooh, this one's strong. Have a sniff. It's very coffee-y. And then our French roast. Ooh, this one's almost Nutty. All right, we're gonna let that steep for five minutes. Hey Siri. Hold that thought. No, my battery's dying. No, 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 no. Welcome back, it's been five minutes. So, we have our coffees done steeping. Let's pull out these bags. Oops, I spilled. Good job, Jenny. Ah! The little, the string. All right. Only made a little mess there. We're gonna go with our dark roast first. If you've watched our Basel video, you know that me and coffee and glass containers don't do well. That video is linked below. This one smells more like the Dunkin' coffee I would normally make in the Keurig. Full disclosure, I don't usually make my own coffee. I go to Dunkin' because I'm lazy. No, okay, not because I'm lazy, because I don't know how to make a good iced latte. That's just that. So let's take a little sippy sippy, shall we? It's much more like something I would drink. It's very mild, has a very pleasant flavor, just a nice smooth coffee taste. It's actually not too bitter, so if you're not a bitter coffee person, that's a good option for you. Now I'm gonna pour in some pumpkin spice creamer from International Delight. Ooh. I will say the, and maybe if I use less water, these coffees are very watery. I'm doing how it says it on the package. But maybe I would use less water next time because they're a little bit watery. You can even kind of see that. But let's take a sip. It's better without the creamer. This one just has a layer of wateriness on the top. So I would drink that one black if I were you. Next up, the French roast. Not bad. I'm not a French roast gal, so this is not something I would normally go for. But it's good. Again, very mild. Ooh, that one did much better. <laughs> so, something went wrong with the dark roast, I think. Let's try it. Very good. 
final consensus. I love the eco-friendliness. Let's, let's try that again. I love the eco-friendly concept of Steeped Coffee. I think it's amazing. I love their packaging. I love the idea that you can make this on the go anywhere you don't need a machine. All you need is water and the coffee bag. Pretty snazzy. And they have a very wide variety of coffees for all of your coffee drinking needs. If you need decaf, we got decaf. All, all the kinds of coffee. For me, oh, I didn't rate these. Ah, I'm losing my mind. I would give the dark roast black an eight out of 10. Mm, I'm gonna give it an eight and a half out of 10. Cause I'm gonna give the French roast an eight out of 10. I like these two better than yesterday's. Overall, I would give the entire steeped coffee concept a 10 out of 10. And the flavors of the coffee overall, I'd give it a seven out of 10 because they're just a little watery for me. And again, that could have been user error. I did what the package told me to do, but maybe if I use less water, I would like it better. I definitely recommend you get your hands on some of these. They're very affordable. I will put a link in the description box and you try it and let me know what you think. Just send us a little message, comment on this video, follow us on Instagram, tell us if you like this coffee and also comment down below your favorite kind of coffee to make at home because I'm very interested to know. That's all we have for today, folks. We will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. I'm gonna say the exact same way again. Hey y'all, it's me, Jenny B, and today I'm gonna be reviewing steeped coffee. And astronauts. That's not an astronaut, is it? I'm gonna be reviewing <laughs> steep coffee! Steve Coffee. <laughs> Steeped Coffee. Dang it, it was upside down! Hey y'all, what? <coughs> <coughs> hey y'all, it's me, Jenny B, and today I'm gonna be reviewing Steep Coffee. Steeped coffee. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Steeped coffee. Why does it always, it feels like it's so smooth. Steeped coffee. Steeped coffee. <laughs> and <laughs> One more time. So what did you do all day? <laughs>